Greetings friends. Once again, I'm honored to welcome you back to Rick's Garage. What you see before you is my Powerbilt strut spring compressor. I did an unboxing video on this device quite some time ago. And at that time, I promised a video on how to use it. Well, I made such a video, but I stand here to report to you that I'm ashamed of myself. I made the video without actually reading the instructions. A short time after posting the video, I happened to look over the instructions and saw I was not using it correctly, so I promptly took the video down and discarded it. So I now have an opportunity to demonstrate to you the correct way to use this device. I hope you enjoy. Now this uh, strut spring compressor is designed to be used with a large bench vise. They don't recommend using it on a bench or on the ground. It has a little tab underneath as you can see that fits in there quite nicely. Then you can tighten it down. Now I haven't locked up the vise yet because I'm not sure what would be the best angle to keep it at as I'm using it. But that's how you clamp it into your vise. Okay friends, uh, this is the strut we're going to be uh, compressing. It happens to be off of a 2005 Chevy uh, Cobalt. Now before we do anything, I'm going to mark this thing so we can uh, fit it back together correctly. Now we won't be putting this particular strut back in, but when you get your new strut, you can easily transfer the marks from the old strut onto the new one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a place here on the back and I'm going to put a little white, I got a white paint marker. These are handy to have in the shop. And I'm going to put a little dab right here on the strut. And I'm going to put a corresponding dab right here on the spring. So I know when I put this back together, I got to line up these two marks. Now the same thing I'm going to do over here in the front. I'm putting a little white dab on this tab right here. And I'm also putting a corresponding mark on the spring right there. So now we know that when we go to put it together, we don't have to be twisting it around and trying to figure out how it fits. We've got it marked. I mean, it's not absolutely essential that you mark it, but boy, it makes it a lot easier trying to figure out how to get it lined up to put it back together again. If you don't get this part lined up, then this thing will be crooked on an angle. So, anyway, we're ready to start. Now, these are some of the tools that we're going to be using in addition to the strut spring compressor. This is a uh, air impact tool. We're going to use that to blast the... Uh, top nut off. This is a 21 millimeter socket that we're going to use to get the top nut off. This is a half inch drive ratchet that we're going to use to open and close the strut spring compressor. I don't want to use a power tool to open and close it. I like to have a little more control over it so this will do nicely. Now this is a pair of parrot nose vice grips. You can buy these on Amazon. Uh, they sell them at uh, AutoZone. It's designed for clamping on round, round devices, round surfaces. I'll show you what we're going to use that for in a minute. And here's another regular pair of vice grips. I'll show you what we're going to be doing with that. So there are our tools: two pairs of vice grips, one parrot nose, one regular half inch drive ratchet to open and close the device an air uh, powered ratchet 21 millimeter socket and you've already seen the uh, white paint marker to mark the strut so what I'm going to do with the regular vice grips is I'm just going to clamp the strut onto the spring and the reason for that is so this thing ain't flopping around when I'm trying to compress it and what I'm going to use the parrot nose pliers for is to clamp onto this shaft so when I go to undo the nut it won't turn. This is perfect for that. So let's get started. Alright friends, there's going to be a little bit of trial and error to get the spacing just right to fit your uh, strut in. 
Um, I've been doing that and I've come up with this position right here that looks pretty good to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that paint marker and I'm going to put a little line in here just so I can uh, know that that's the location where it fits best. And when I finish, I can release it to that point and the thing should come out easily. So let's go ahead and throw it in. Now you may have to turn it this way or that way to get it at the optimum position. But that looks pretty good right there. I like that. Now you don't want to put it too low because uh, I don't know how well you can see this, but there's a narrow space here and a wider space there. We've got this big boot on the strut and if we put it down too low, the boot's going to get caught in this narrow area. So we don't want it down there too low. So let's put it back in. They say you may have to turn it one way or the other. So that's a good spot for now. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my vice grip on this end here just to hold it all together while I'm working so everything don't stop flopping loose on me until I'm ready to have it come flopping loose. So I'm going to put that vice grip right there. Okay, so now I'm going to install my safety pins. This is very important. So I'm going to put one here, lock it in place, run it through the spring. It's very important that you run it through the spring. Easier said than done. Run it through your spring and then put it in the other side and lock it in place. Get your other safety pin. Do the same thing. Put it through the hole. Hope I'm not blocking your vision too badly. Put this through the spring. Where I'm exactly blocking your view, looks like. Put it through the spring. Then lock this one in place. Now this kind of serves a dual purpose. One, the cable will help prevent the spring from popping out at you. And these um, pins will act as uh, a safety device also to help keep the spring from getting away. So friends, I'm ready to start compressing this spring. Before I do, I want to have a little safety moment. Now you just saw me put in my uh, safety pins, make sure they're through the spring. Make sure your uh, pins are uh, sticking all out. And make sure they're all locked. Keep checking them. Now this spring cannot come forward or backward. It's it protruding beyond these ears, so it can't possibly get through there. So it can't come toward you, it can't go away from you. The only place it could possibly blow out of there is straight up. So make sure you don't put any body parts above this area, and don't put your head in there by all means. So just keep your distance, and you should be reasonably safe doing this job. Use a little common sense. So I'm going to go ahead and start compressing this. Now I'm going to lift this up a little bit, like I said before, just so that it'll make it easier to get this uh, boot out. And I'm going to start compressing it. Once I get it to where I want it, I'm going to... Okay, so it's compressing now. Okay, so it looks like it's going to stay where I want it. So we're just going to go ahead and compress this thing. And I'm going to compress it until I start feeling this loose. That's another thing you got to be careful of. Is you don't want to unbolt this while it's still under tension. You want to make sure it's uh, well loose before you unbolt the uh, top part. The hat if you will. Or the, uh, actually they call it the strut mount. So it looks like it's compressing quite nicely. I'm 
I'm not using a power tool because I want to have plenty of control over it. Every once in a while you can stop and check it, make sure your, your tension is gone. We've still got plenty of tension there. And now it's starting to get loose. That's what we want. We want all the tension off of this thing. Yeah, okay, there's no tension on it now. So we can go ahead and uh, unbolt that top nut to release the uh, strut. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, penetrating oil on the nut itself. And I'm going to use those uh, parrot nose locking pliers that I showed you earlier, and I'm going to clamp them right onto this uh, shaft, the main shaft that goes right through the right through the strut. Clamp it on there good and tight. Now I'm going to take my impact gun and zip that bolt out. Oh, that was easy enough. Okay. Remove this. Remove this plate that we had marked. Remove the parrot nose locking pliers. And this should very easily slide right out, I would hope. And it does. Now with the uh, strut out of the way, you can very clearly see what I'm talking about. This spring protrudes through these ears, so there's no way it can come toward you, no way it can go away from you. The only place it could go out is uh, straight up. So just keep your body parts out of that area. Okay friends, um, I have a bit of an issue. As it turns out, the new struts have not arrived yet. I've got other things to do today. I don't want to hang around all day waiting for them. So what I'm going to do so I can just finish up this video is for demonstration purposes only I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this old strut. If you had the new strut here with you you would probably have to transfer this boot. Uh, sometimes they don't come with the boot. And what you would want to do is turn it, put them side by side and transfer that mark. Now we're not going to replace the mounts, so the mark is already on the, uh, the bushing part of the mount, so we're going to reuse that, so we don't need to transfer any mark, but if you're replacing this stuff here, you need to transfer the mark also. So pretending this is the brand new strut, the first thing we're going to do is put the boot back on. Okay, and you would be transferring this bushing here. That's in place. Okay, I've located the mark I put in the spring. It's right here. So we're going to place this through. And we're just going to line up the two marks. Right there like that. And I'm going to put my vice grip back on. Just to hold it in place. Tighten up that vice grip a little bit. There we go. Okay, so once again I've lined up my mark, putting my vice grip in place, and so now the top part is ready to be installed. Okay, friends, I've moved the camera to a different angle, it was exactly in my way. So now I've got the socket here with the nut all ready to go on. I'm going to take the cover and I'm going to line up the marks that I had made previously. Let's make sure this is lined up right. Yep. Okay, make sure this is all the way out. 
that's lined up nicely. Now I'm going to take this bushing and put that on. Now it doesn't matter how this is orientated because uh, this is the spacer that uh, orientates it correctly. So this can go in on anyway. And now I'm going to get the nut and start that. Yeah, that started. We're going to put our uh, parrot nose pliers back on. We're going to switch our impact gun over to Titan. And we're going to blast this thing back on there. There we go. Get this out of the way. And this is installed. So now what we're going to do is carefully uh, back off the compressor and release the tension. But I'm going to leave this on for now to hold everything in place the way it should be. I don't want things coming apart on me. So let's release the tension. Hopefully I'm not blocking your view too badly. I'm going to release it to that mark that I put on there previously. No, I didn't want that to come down and hit me in the head. Alright, I guess we've got enough tension on it. I don't need that anymore. That's why that came off. Okay. Is that it's uh, the tension is off of it. We can go ahead and safely remove our, our pins. And this should pull right straight off, pretending it's our new strut. Our marks are all lined up. So this is uh, this normally would be ready to install in the car. So that's all I've got for today, friends. I just wanted to show you how to use this device. I'm sorry I did not have the new strut here to install, but I think you got the idea. So I want to thank you very much for watching Rick's Garage. Before I go, friends, I'm going to post two videos to your left. One will be that unboxing video I originally did, and the other will be hopefully something you'll find of interest. And to your right, as always, will be a picture of my avatar in the form of my trusty German Shepherd. By all means, feel free to click on that if you wish to subscribe. So I want to thank you once again for watching. And it is my sincere hope that we see you all again very, very soon.